Yo 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 what's up my fam welcome back to the channel guys and welcome to another quick guide if it comes to Baldur Gates 3. So you come to this zone for the first time and you're wondering how you can deal with this little puzzle moving forward. So do not worry I'm gonna showcase you this extremely fast how you can solve this puzzle. You're gonna need four uh, four items. Beside the sword is already in the altar it should not be touching. You're gonna need three different type of other swords. For able for you to do this, I do recommend you to have a rogue with you because you're gonna need to open up this door right here. Once you come into this zone, you're gonna find a boss here. It's not the most difficult boss, but once you kill him, defeat him, he will disappear, and of course you're gonna see of course the ceremonial battle axe. That's the first beautiful item we're gonna need. Secondary item um, we are going to need for us. A little bit of better path movements. There we go. To quite far just this to go way. up here. I thought we were gonna see some angry birds. They are ridiculously funny. <laughs> really, really funny. But unfortunately, there is no other way to uh, to get this weapon here besides killing them. So I tried different form of options and just no matter how I wanted to loot it, it ended up we fighting one another. I find it really really awful because I really find it these guys were extremely funny anyway by picking up the secondary weapon there and now we're only gonna need one weapon one more weapon one more ceremonial weapon a type of a weapon that is actually shown in the image um, in a tapestry if you actually analyze it in a proper way of course we must go down here You can just keep following the path. And it's gonna be right here. There is this rusty hammer, that's what you're gonna need. Now, to save us a little bit of time, we are going to send these weapons, of course, to my character. And coming back for so now we're here the ceremonial sword is of course is over there on this stone right here and this one is gonna need the battle axe ceremonial battle axe you just throw it make sure you throw it on the altar there we go this one you can see on the picture actually if you interact with it they're going to showcase you what you need to see you see the swords, sword on that side, the battle axe on this. You see the tapestry holding like a maze thing on this one. So you're gonna need to throw, of course, the maze here. Right here. And of course, the last one, you see like a warhammer. So now for the next thing that we need to find is the blood of Latina. Now the blood of Latina, if you want to do it very quickly, I'm gonna just I'm gonna take us my good little thief here. It's uh, not well hidden, but you need actually to read properly one of the instructions uh, in this tapestry here, right here. The holy blood, you can see the holy blood of Latina. The blood of Lathanda, spilled in holy battle with Samaster, immortalized here for all to worship. They kept the blood of Lathanda here, please. It was begging to be stolen. And there we go. That's how you finish actually this little puzzle moving forward if it comes to this. So if you like this content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. 
I like to keep my content very simple, straight to the point, and hopefully you guys liked it. See you guys to the next guide. I'm your host, Yashin Lord itself, and welcome to my gaming channel. See you guys next time, man. One love, one love only. Peace.